Hello guys! It is me, Spooky Noodles, and I am here to do an unboxing video. But first, before I get into the unboxing video, I want to show you something I got from Barnes & Noble. Alright. This is going to be a quick little thing. I got Clive Barker's Books of Blood, Volumes 1, uh, 2, 3, or through 3. Um, been wanting this for a while, and I already know I'm going to enjoy this, so yeah, got that at Barnes & Noble today. Um, but that's not why you guys are here today. You guys are here today to see me unbox my box, my uh, Halloween Terror Trade box. So, I already unboxed it, I already, or not unboxed it, but uh, I already opened it for you guys. So you don't have to see me struggle on, uh, I used this little box cutter. Uh, my sister wanted me to include it because she thinks it's cute. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get into this. First, there's some plastic, uh, bags to keep it from, uh, getting wet, which I'm very appreciative for that. Ooh. It's all dark and ominous and there's a divider that's pretty cool I'm, I'm getting excited dude I'm, I'm like shaking I hope it doesn't show on the camera but uh what is this it's like cloth or something I wonder if she sent me like a costume or something that'd be crazy I don't even know if she knows my size oh there we go Ooh, what is this? Wolfman's wagon. Is it like a puzzle? It's a model. Oh, okay. All plastic assembly kit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this, guys. I think I mentioned that I like werewolf books, so that's really cool. Oh, of course, you had to get me. She had to get me this. Reese's Pumpkins. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love Reese's Pumpkins. They're one of my favorites. Oh, look at that, more Reese's. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a letter here, okay. I gotta read the letter real quick, guys. Gotta read the letter real quick. Hopefully you don't mind. Uh, oops, don't rip it, Nick. Ooh, that's a cool card. Oh, is there something else in here? Something else in here? No, okay, good, just making sure. Look at that card, guys. It's like an after Halloween party. And of course, the house next door is perfectly fine, but this one got tricked. Wonder what it says inside. Guess which house handed out the little boxes of raisins? <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. That's the card, and it says inside, uh, guess which house handed out the little boxes of raisins? <laughs> That's what I'd do if they someone handed me a box of raisins. All right. All right, let's continue opening this box. We have like these ribbons of cloth, which is really cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be part of a costume, but now I'm collecting them. All right, next. <laughs> it's a Universal Orlando Resort bag. I don't know if she threw this in just to be funny or if, I don't know, but <laughs> that's funny. It's like a trick or treat bag. Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh man, I'm going trick-or-treating. Alright. Get some of this stuff out of here. Uh, let's throw this over here. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm excited. What's this? Ooh. <laughs> it's a spooky, it's a witch llama or a spooky llama or whatever you want to call it. Or is it an alpaca? Hold on. No, it's... Linda the Witchy Llama, <laughs> a dog toy with extra loud squeaker. Oh, my dog's going to go insane. My dog is going to love that. 
Oh man. <laughs> oh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, dog treats. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my dog's gonna love this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, is there something in? Oh, is there something in this? I hope not. I just tossed it aside. No, it's just okay. It feels like there's something in this, so I'm gonna check it out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no way! Oh, my favorite movie of all time, guys, is Psycho. And what she got me, if I can, if I can, uh, hold on. There we go. It lights up and it's Norman Bates' face at the end of the movie when he's talking about uh, how he wouldn't harm a fly. Oh, and it lights up. That is so cool. I'm going to plug that in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's see. I think the rest of the stuff. Oh, wait. There's one more thing. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if she knows this, but I collect patches. Look at that. It's the thing patch. Oh, I'm putting that on a hat. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool, guys. I love that. I'm going to put that right on my laptop here. And then before I get to the books, I think there's one more thing. Ooh. That's spooky. I'm going to hold it so you guys can't see, but spooky. That is so cool. I like that art a lot. That is really cool. And it comes with a sticker too. That is awesome. Oh, I appreciate that so much. All right. What else? What else do we have? Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we got one more thing before we get to the books. Uh, Strike Force Energy. Ooh. What's this? Is this like one of those, uh... Ooh, what is this? Oh, I see. You like mix this with water and you get an energy drink. Oh, that's so neat. Click the kick the can, it says. Are you trying to get me to quit energy drinks? <laughs> there we go. That is so cool. All right, now on to the books, guys. And my gosh, she got me quite a few books. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry, my fat body's getting in the way. I'm going to start off with this. <laughs> oh, I'm like shaking. Okay. Edward Lee's The Backwoods. Um, if you want me to read them, oh, well, this one doesn't have a back anyways, but, uh, Edward Lee is, is pretty cool. I only read one thing by Edward Lee and people will tell me it's not his best work, which is crazy because I actually really, really like it, you know? And that's, um, that's his story in, uh, triage. So, um, yeah, I, oh, I'm not even in camera. So yeah, I'm, um, I like Edward Lee, um, I know I'm gonna like his books, so when I get to them, uh, cause I like the story in triage, so, yeah, that's why, uh, this goes with my Edward Lee, and luckily this is one that I don't own already, so that's awesome. And then, <laughs> we got a John Saul book to add to my collection, The Devil's Labyrinth. So cool. So cool. Put my books over here. Oh, no way. I've listened to this book on audio, but I always wanted to own the actual book. Oh, and that's The Hide Effect by Steve Vance. Steve Man Vance, blah, blah, blah. Steve Vance writes like the best dialogue. Like, like for real, like his dialogue is so cool and it's corny and it's 
like smart and I, I I just love the dialogue in his book in this book in particular uh, I, I'm I'll briefly get into it um this book is about a uh, is about um, this wolf is like werewolf is attacking everyone and in the beginning I like the first half of the book they're trying to figure out who it is and then the second half of the book is like a monster like monster madness like it like they're in an asylum and um the werewolf's going and killing people and they're trying to survive and escape at the same time even though the hospital's like in lockdown so very very cool book and i'm so excited to own this oh my gosh Whew. what else do we have here Ooh. I'm not a serial killer. I miss this movie. I am not a serial killer by Dan Wells. I think I read in the letter she uh, she read this book and liked it. I think that's what she said. And uh, I mean, he got a good quote from John uh, F. Paul Wilson. So uh, I'm gonna read the back of this later. Um, but this looks interesting. I like the cover a lot. I am not a serial killer. <laughs> I swear, guys. <laughs> then we have the Beast House. Ooh, that's a nice, 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 nice. I need to read this. Ooh, ooh, we got something else. What is this? Oh, it's like a window sticker. Oh, that's so cool. That was like a sneaky present. I didn't even see that coming. That is so cool. Now I gotta look, make sure there's not a bookmark in any every other one. Or not a bookmark, but a sticker. I hate to miss it. All right, there's not so far, so we're good. <laughs> All right, next is Ania Allborn Within These Walls. I have no idea what this book is, but I know who Ania Allborn is, and I've been meaning to read her book, Brother. So, um, thank you. I can't wait to get into this. I hear she's fantastic, so, you know, I'm, I'm excited to read this. Um, I'm going to read the back of it later, but first we're going to, you know, I'm going to read, see what else I have here. And I already see the next book I'm gonna grab. And I'm so excited for this. It is The Woods Are Dark. I've, like I said, I've read this book or uh, I've listened to the audio book, but uh, I'm so happy to actually own it. The Woods Are Dark. This is, uh, everyone says this book is kind of like lame, but I like this book a lot. Um, and it's not because of like the, the awkward love story or, uh, like some of the characters there's this one character whose dive into madness is like really fun to read and it's the dad of the of the surviving group and his descent into madness is just fun to read so that's the woods of dark by richard layman all right next we have subject seven i've never heard of this Subject seven. I never heard of this, so this is exciting. I like to see books I've never heard of before. Ooh, the font is huge, guys. The font is huge. Look at that. I don't know if you can see if the camera is going to pick it up, but the font is huge. I like it when font is big. It's like, um, I don't mind it being at like 12 font, you know, but anything bigger than 12 is, uh, is nice on the eyes. Anything smaller than 12 hurts my eyes badly. So this is awesome. All right, next. Ooh, we got a little novella. Hate inexorable. I'm, I think I'm saying that. Hate inexorable. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today by Mike Duke. Uh, No, it's not a pro-Nazi book. This book is, um. Well, what is it about? Uh, I don't know. 
Whew, the font is huge in this one too, and it's spaced out. That's pretty awesome. So this is like a little novella. I'll read this very quickly. I'll read this very quickly. Oh yeah. Oh, what's this? To Nick, hope this book punches you in the gut. Mike Duke. Oh, that's so cool. It's autographed, guys. That's so cool. And it looks like we have more Mike Duke books. Oh, and they're part of a... They're part of a uh, series. Okay. So here's Ashley's Tale by Mike Duke, book one. That's cool. Oh, this one's signed too. Be strong for the wicked always hunt the weak. Mike Duke. Oh, that's so cool. So we got Ashley's Tale, which is the series is called Ashley's Tale. And then the second book is called Making Jake. So there we go, Mike Duke. Did he sign this one as well? Now I gotta check every book. He did. To Nick, how far would you go to save someone you love from themselves? That's a good question. That is a good question. And then last, but definitely not least, because this one's actually much bigger than the other books. Um, and that is The Initiation. This is the third book. I'm guessing this is the fin final one. Um, did he sign this one? He did. To Nick, violence is the final answer, but when it, when is it the right one? Mike Duke. And like I said, the font in this one is really big, so I appreciate that. And that is it, guys. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. This is so cool. I'm going to use this for my next, uh, next box, I think, that I do. I'm going to use this big cloth. Look at, now you see me? <sighs> oh, dad, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, <laughs> on that embarrassing note, um, before I leave, look at the cool, what she did with the box itself. She put all these cool little things on it. So cool, so cool, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Um, where did my hat go? In the process, I lost my hat. I don't even know if I was ever wearing it, but uh, let me just kind of scroll down a little bit. Actually, let me uh, get my handy dandy chair here. Um, that's the stuff I got Um, with the sticker, this patch, and this uh, fake energy drink, like trying to get me to quit. How am I supposed to read all these books if I don't drink energy drinks? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed um, my little unboxing video plus my Barnes & Noble buy. Um, got a lot of books to read, guys. Um, I think the most... Well, if I had to look at them and tell you which one I'm most excited about, I'd have to see it's a tie between... Within These Walls by Ania Allborn and Edward Lee's The Backwoods. Those two books I'm very, very excited about. Uh, obviously, I'm excited about all these books. To get an autographed book is ridiculously cool. Um, I, I, I don't think I topped her, <laughs> but uh, I hope she likes her box. Um, I believe my partner's name, I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm going to look it up real quick, but I'm pretty sure... I know it, you know, uh, but I'm gonna make sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. Oh, I haven't messaged her in a while. Um, or did I? Did I miss her? No, here she is. Yeah, okay. Andy Gaber, thank you so much. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so, so much for the box. I really appreciate it. The candy is amazing. You know, you got me the pumpkin candy. Like, secretly, I was really wishing you'd either get that one or the bat one. There's pumpkins and there's bats. The bat-shaped ones don't really look like bats, but uh, the pumpkins look like 
pumpkins and they taste so amazing so i appreciate you getting the right candy i was really hoping you'd get like i was crossing my fingers i'm like please don't get just normal reese's get some halloween themed reese's and you did so i appreciate that so much and uh <laughs> the spooky llama the uh dog toy i'm so happy you got stuff for my dogs that was really nice of you um and the books man the books were great you know i'm very excited about the books um the portrait was really cool i really really like that so uh i appreciate everything you did for me in this box and i hope you enjoy my box and uh, for everyone else who's watching this, uh, thank you so much for watching my unboxing of my horror Halloween trade box. I don't know what exactly the, I think it's called the terror trade box. So thank you for watching this and watching me go through this and geeking out. Um, but yeah, as always, I hope you guys have a spooky day and a spooky night and I'll see you.